Kelsey Nicole finally took the stand at the trial between Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez, and she completely tore Megan's case to shreds. She exposed Megan for lying the entire time, and she came with receipts, honey. If you guys thought the case was a mess before, well, the drama just got real. Let's get into it. For those who don't know who Kelsey Nicole is, she is Megan's ex-bestie, who was in the car with Megan and Tori on the night of the shooting, and she was considered to be a very important witness by the prosecutors. To clarify before we go on, the prosecutors are the DA and everyone else on Megan's side, while the defense is Tori's team of lawyers, okay? So to start with, Kelsey denied allegations that she shot Megan, saying, it's ridiculous that anyone would think I shot Megan. She then revealed that Megan was actually the one who encouraged her to pursue an intimate relationship with Tori, only for Megan to start sleeping with Tori herself after Kelsey caught COVID and had to go back home to Texas. Okay, now this is where things got interesting. Kelsey gave her account of what happened on the night of the party, and it was kind of different from what Megan has been saying all this time in her interviews. Kelsey claimed that Kylie Jenner had only invited Megan and Kelsey to hang out, but Megan had been the one to invite Tori over after she and Kelsey had already spent some time at Kylie's house. Kelsey also claimed that Tori, Kylie, and Megan were in the pool and that Megan had gotten drunk and was obnoxious. Tori then decided to be messy by flirting with Kylie. And girl, this man's audacity is off the charts. First of all, he had an intimate relationship with Kelsey. Then he started doing Megan on the low. Then he still had the nerve to flirt with Kylie at a hangout that both Megan and Kelsey were at. Like, can somebody say for the streets? For real. Anyway, Megan's drunk behavior got so bad that they tried to make her leave, but she didn't want to. But they were finally able to convince her to leave. So Kelsey, Megan, Tori Security, and Megan Stylist left together. But then Megan realized that Tori was alone with Kylie in her house. So she made up an excuse about leaving a slipper at Kylie's house, making them drive all the way back to the house. When they got back, Megan went in the house alone, but whatever she saw made her get really upset, causing an argument that eventually led Kylie kicking them out of her house. Now, Kelsey didn't say what it was that Megan saw, but judging by the fact that he and Kylie had been flirty, I think we can all kind of assume what she saw. So when Megan and Tori got into the car, an argument broke out that that led to Tori telling Kelsey about how he and Megan had been doing the nasty behind her back. And Megan didn't exactly deny these claims. Now this is a direct contradiction of what Megan has been saying for months because first off, she denied ever even being intimate with Tori in every interview. Did you have an intimate relationship with him? Like sexual? Yeah, yeah. Did you have, <laughs> did you, Megan, <laughs> did you have a sexual relationship with Tori Lanez? Yes, that's my question. Um. I didn't have a sexual relationship with Tori. She also claimed that the argument started because she wanted to leave and everybody else wasn't ready. It was an argument because I was ready to go and everybody else wasn't ready to go. Mm -hmm. But that's like normal friend yes. stuff. Like, yeah. we fuss about silly, silly stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. These inconsistencies aren't helping Megan's case at all. People are already tearing her to shreds over this. But anyway, back to the Kelsey testimony. So she was asked if Tori threatened to shoot her in the car, but she pled the fifth, which means that she exercised her right to not answer a question. Now, back in September, Kelsey had admitted to prosecutors that Tori had threatened to shoot her, but now she's claiming that she doesn't remember. Hmm, interesting. But when she took the stand in court, she admitted in the court that she lied about everything she told them in September, claiming that she doesn't remember anything from the night of the shooting. She claimed that she lied when she clearly said, I saw Tori fire three to five shots at Megan when we got out of the car. He offered me a million dollars and asked to do favors for me if I stayed quiet. And Tori punched me. Things got even wilder when Kelsey claimed that she didn't witness Megan getting shot or see her bleeding. She claimed that she doesn't know who shot Megan or if Megan got shot in the first place, but she did hear gunshots. At this point, I think we can all conclude that Kelsey is hiding something because how on earth is she going to say that she didn't see Megan bleeding? Even from this blurry video, we can clearly see that her foot is bleeding. I understand Kelsey is trying to play it safe and protect herself, but she's leaving some things out. When she was asked if Tori paid for her lawyer, she said, I don't know, I don't remember. And this is just mad sus to me, because I'm like, sis, how you don't remember who's paying for your lawyer? Like... She also claimed that when she was being interrogated by the prosecution in September, she said a lot of things that weren't true to protect herself from self-incrimination, adding that she lied when she told them that she saw Tori shoot Megan. She then said that the only reason she texted Tori's security about Tori shooting Megan is that she was in a panic. <sighs> Girl. <laughs> 
Okay, yeah, if Megan was counting on Kelsey to help her case, well, she was in for a big disappointment because Kelsey totally destroyed it. To be fair to Kelsey, I don't think she was trying to destroy Megan's case. I think she was just looking out for herself and herself only and didn't care who got caught in the crossfire. I do think that she was kind of protecting Tori as long as she didn't implicate herself. For those who don't know, Megan and Kelsey have a very nasty falling out after the shooting. They haven't been friends since then and they even had a messy fight on Twitter a few weeks ago where they dragged each other through filth. Oh, and then there's also the fact that gunpowder residue was found on Tori and Kelsey and a witness claimed that they saw Megan and Kelsey fighting before the shooting. Yet another witness reported that they saw the gun flash from the shot go off closer to Kelsey than Tori. So this is why I think Kelsey is trying to look out for herself because a lot of people believe that Kelsey is actually the one who shot Megan. So I kind of had my suspicions from the very start that Kelsey was not going to go out of her way to help Megan's case in any way. She and Tori remained kind of cool after the event and there were rumors that he helped fund her business, but I don't know if that's true or not. So I kind of see why she suddenly forgot all about how Megan was bleeding on the night of and how she changed her testimony about witnessing the shooting. Someone commented, Kelsey remembers everything Megan supposedly did, but anything involving Tori, she suddenly has amnesia. <laughs> Y'all don't see what's happening here. And this is the one thing that I find weird as well. Another person said, Megan's expecting Tori to be loyal to her when the dude was literally sleeping with Kelsey before her is wild to me. Her ego was off the charts. And this other person spoke facts saying, this case is getting interesting. Kelsey just destroyed Megan's whole testimony. Honestly, I'm not surprised with the way this trial went because Megan and Kelsey are still bitter toward each other. But Kelsey's testimony obviously came as a shock to the prosecutors because she already gave them her testimony back in September where she said she saw Tori shoot Megan. So they probably thought she was on her side and they had things on lock. But she pulled an Uno reverse on them and now their entire case surrounding her is torn to shreds. But is this going to be enough to get Tori off the hook? Does this mean that Megan? Megan's case is completely ruined beyond saving? Everyone's lying. No one's points are valid anymore. We're gonna have to wait for the jury to decide, but in the meantime, y'all gonna have to check this other video out. Peace.